Grown-ups, before we start our story time today, I want to let you know that we will be using an online resource called BookFlix. BookFlix is completely free with your library card, and it pairs a fictional children's picture book along with a non-fiction story, age appropriate, and they usually are about the same subject. And after you're done reading both stories, BookFlix also includes some puzzles, some sequencing activities you can do with your kiddo, lots of great other online uh, resources that you can explore. And once again, this is all free with your library card. So before we get started, I just want to make sure everyone knows how to get signed on. You can go to our library's website, siouxlandlib.org, click on the research tab, and then all of our databases are listed alphabetically. So scroll down to B, find BookFlix. And at this point, you'll need to sign in with your Siouxland Library's card and PIN. If you don't remember what that is or don't have access to it while you're at home, you can call the library Monday through Friday, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. at 605-367-8700. Or you can email us at asklibrarian at siouxfalls.org. So during your story time, I'll let you know when you can pause the video and hop over to BookFlix to watch the story. And then you can come back to the video and we'll continue along with our songs here. Hi friends, my name is Miss Ashley and welcome back to another virtual story time with Siouxland Libraries. This summer, our summer reading theme is going to be Imagine Your Story. So today I have some stories and rhymes about some imaginary creatures. But before we start with our first rhyme, let's sing our hello song. So get ready to clap and sing hello with me. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as loud as we can. Hello! Bread and butter, Marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as quiet as we can. Hello. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as fast as we can. Hello. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as slow as we can. Hello. Marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as nice as we can. Hello. Great job, friends. Our first rhyme today is about an imaginary creature. A monster. This is a friendly monster and he loves to eat shapes. I have some different shapes that are different colors. Can you name them with me as I put them up here on my phone board? I have a red heart, an orange triangle, here's a yellow star, a green diamond, a blue crescent, a purple rectangle, a pink square, a brown circle, and our last shape is a white oval. Shape, monster, shape, monster, munch, munch, munch. How about a yellow star for your lunch? Can you find the yellow star and point it out? Right here! I'm gonna put it in the shape monster's belly. Munch, munch, munch. But he's still hungry. Shape, monster, shape, monster, munch, munch, munch. How about a pink square for your lunch? Do you see my pink square? Here it is, into the shape monster's belly. Munch, 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 munch. He's still hungry. Shape, monster, shape. Monster munch, munch, munch. How about a blue crescent for your lunch? Where's our blue crescent? Over here. Munch, munch, delicious. But he's still hungry. Let's keep going with our shapes. Shape, monster, shape, monster, munch, munch, munch. How about 
a green diamond for your lunch. Where's the green diamond? Right here. And now it's in the shape monster's belly. He's still hungry. Let's keep going. Shape monster, shape monster, munch, munch, munch. How about a white oval for your lunch? Where's my white oval? Right here. Oh. Shape, monster, shape, monster, munch, munch, munch. How about a red heart for your lunch? Where is it? Right up here. Oh. Shape, monster, shape, monster, munch, munch, munch. How about a purple rectangle for your lunch? Here it is. Shape, monster, shape, monster, munch, munch, munch. How about a brown circle for your lunch? Where's the brown circle? Shape, monster, shape, monster, munch, munch, munch. How about a, what's left? Orange triangle for your lunch. I think he's all full now. Let's count how many shapes the shape monster ate for lunch. Can you help me? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Nine shapes for his lunch. Okay, we're going to put our shape monster away. And then our first story for her story time today is called Where the Wild Things Are. So grown-ups, you're gonna pause my story time here and head over to our online resource called Book Flicks. And I gave you instructions at the beginning of this video about how to log in to that resource. So pause my video here. Go watch Maurice Sendax, Where the Wild Things Are, and then come on back here for another round. Welcome back, friends. Did you have fun roaring with the wild things like Max? That was a fun story, wasn't it? So our next magical creature lives in the ocean and has a fin like a fish, but a body like a human. Do you have any guesses what kind of magical creature has a Thin like a fish, but a body like a human. It's a mermaid. And I have five little mermaids. So I'm going to put our five mermaids up here on our flannel board. Count with me. One, two, three, four, and five. Hold up your five fingers for our five little mermaids. Five little mermaids swimming near the shore. One took a dive. And then there were, how many? One, two, three, and four. Four little mermaids were swimming out to sea. One went for food. And then there were, Let's count. One, two, three. Three little mermaids. Now what shall we do? One swam away and then there were two. One, two. Two little mermaids were having great fun. One took a plunge and then there was just one. One little mermaid said, I like the warm sun. Away she went. And then there were none. They all swam away. Do you know where mermaids live? In the ocean, right. So the next book we're going to read today is called Where Land Meets the Sea. You're gonna learn all about beaches where land meets the sea. The mermaids live in the sea, and people, humans like us, live on land. So pause my video here, head over to BookFlix, and read the story with your grown-up, Where Land Meets the Sea, and then I'll see you back here in a few minutes. Welcome back, friends. 
Did you learn lots of good things about where land meets the sea? You know, one thing that you might find when you're walking along a beach is, oh, I found some back here, a seashell. And my special mermaid friends who we just learned about a few minutes ago, they like to hide treasure in sea seashells. Treasure like white, round, pretty pearls. Here's our white pearl here, and we have five seashells today. So let's put them up here on our board. Here's one, two, three, four, and five, our five seashells. We are going to close our eyes, no peeking, and our mermaid's going to hide the pearl in one of those shells, and we're gonna have to guess which color it's hiding in. Okay, friends, let's hide our eyes, and the mermaid's going to hide that pearl for us. Okay, where do you think the pearl might be hiding? I don't have any idea. Let's open them up and find out. Let's start by looking in the green shell, green shell. What do you hide? Do you have a pearl? Let's look inside. <gasps> Nothing, not in the green shell. Which one should we check next? How about the orange shell? Orange shell, what do you hide? Do you have a pearl? Let's look inside the orange shell. <gasps> Nope, no pearl. Next, let's check the blue shell, blue shell. What do you hide? Do you have a pearl? Let's look inside. We found it! Here's our pearl. It was hiding in the blue shell. Let's hide our eyes again and our mermaid friend will hide our pearl in a different shell this time. Ready? No peeking. Okay, our pearl's hidden again. Which shell could it be in this time? Let's check the purple shell, purple shell. What do you hide? Do you have a pearl? Let's look inside the purple shell. Nope, nothing. Let's check the green one again. Green shell, green shell. What do you hide? Do you have a pearl? Let's look inside. Nope, not in the green shell. Let's check, oops, I dropped my purple one. Let's check pink this time. Pink shell, pink shell, what do you hide? Do you have a pearl? Let's look inside. There's our pearl hiding in the pink shell. Okay, let's hide our eyes one more time and our mermaid friend is going to hide the pearl again. Hide your eyes, no peeking. Ready to guess again? Let's check purple shell, purple shell. What do you hide? Do you have a pearl? Let's look inside. Nope, not in my purple shell. What about the blue shell, blue shell? What do you hide? Do you have a pearl? Let's look inside. blue shell. Pink shell, pink shell. What do you hide? Do you have a pearl? Let's look inside. No pearl. Orange shell, orange shell. What do you hide? Do you have a pearl? Let's look inside. Not in the orange. So that just leaves what color? 
Green shell, green shell, what do you hide? Do you have a pearl? Let's look inside. We found it! Great job, friends. I've had so much fun doing our songs, our rhymes, and reading our stories about our imaginary creatures today. I can't wait to see you back here at the library. Hope you all have a great day. Thanks for joining me for virtual story time. Bye, friends.